guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turgon. In our today's video, we will talk about the law of cosines. Ang tanong dito, Sir, bakit pa natin kailangan gumamit ng law of cosines? Eh, meron na tayong law of sines. So, ganito kasi yan, guys. Hindi kasi lahat ng problems of big triangles ay kayang isolve gamit ng law of sines. Kasi, meron lang siyang certain condition or restriction na kayang isolve. So, kaya meron tayong law of cosines. At para maintindihan mo yung ating law of sines, ilalagay ko yung ating link sa description box para mapanood mo ito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, meron lang tayong tatlong formula ang inihanda ko dito for you to memorize. Okay? So we have here c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. In second formula natin, we have b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine b. And we also have a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Na kung saan mapapansin nyo, yung mga sides yung isolated. Eh sir, how about if nawawala naman yung angle? Tutulan ko kayo mamaya kung paano siya i-manipulate gamit itong formation na to. Pero, ang gagawin natin na ngayon dito, ibuburahin ko muna yung dalawang formula natin at ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano siya madaling uh, mag-generate or matatandaan. Kahit ito lang yung minimemorize yung formula. You have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Dito, napakadali niyang intindihan kasi kung alam niyo yung Pythagorean theorem, ito yung pattern ko dito. You have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Eh sir, paano po ito? So, punta natin yung second formula. Yung next naman natin is b squared. Paano mo matatandaan yung b squared? Yung b squared natin, pansin niyo yung pattern na, this is letter C. Ang nakalagay dito ay yung dalawang letters na hindi letter C. Okay? If this is b, this should be a squared plus C squared. Okay? A squared plus C squared. Minus 2. At kung ano letters dito, yun yung kasama ni number 2. You have 2AC. Tapos for the cosine and the angle, you need to write cosine. Tapos yung angle opposite to side B. So this is cosine B. Okay? So I hope na nakuha niyo yung pattern ko. And let's move on to the third formula. We have C, B, and A. You have A squared. We're in for the A squared. Ang nawawalang letter natin ay B at C. That's why this is B squared plus C squared minus 2. Pansinin natin ha, itong dalawang letter sa ito, ito yung kasama ni 2. So this is 2BC. And for the, cosine B, for the cosine, an angle, if this is side A, yung angle A yung kukunin natin. Okay? So, this is the formula. So, I hope na na-memorize na -memor na yung formula natin in using law of cosines. At kailan naman natin ginagamit ang law of cosines? When to use the law of cosines? Number one, ito yung condition na, given three sides. Meaning, ma-encounter nyo dito yung SSS formation or given information. And number two, given two sides and the included angle. If this is SSS and ito naman ay given two sides and the included angle, you will encounter here SAS. So I have here an example where in this one is under the first condition given the three sides natin. So let me read the question. In triangle ABC, side A is equal to 30 degrees. 30. Kasi small letter siya, that's why side A siya. And then side B or B is equal to 40 and C is equal to 20. Find the measurement of angle B. Look at the given information eh. Your A is equal to, ah, dito na lang, sayang kasi space. Your A is equal to 30, B is equal to 40, C is equal to 20, and you need to find angle B. So ngayon, uh, sir, nasan po ba yung location ng angle ng side A? If this is your angle A, this is your angle A ha, eh? this is your side A. Yung opposite sa yung angle A. So this is A is equal to 30. And for B naman, if this is your angle B, this will be the location of your side B. B is equal to 40. And for the side C, if this is your angle C, opposite to your angle C is your side C. This is your side C. This is C is equal to 
20. At ang pinapahanap sa atin ay si angle B. Ngayon, sir, anong formula ang gagamitin natin sa tatlong to? 1, 2, 3. Remember ha, ang pinapahanap sa atin si angle B. That's why, ang pipili natin ay yung merong cosine B. Itong needle formula natin. So we will be using B squared is equal to A squared. Tinan nyo mabuti ha, plus C squared minus 2AB at 2AC cosine B. Okay. So sir, yung manipulate po ba yan? Ang gabi ko ngayon dito, I'll be substituting the values here from this triangle going to this formula. Where in yung B natin is equal to 40. Tagdahan na, B natin is equal to 40. Ano natin? Dadahan-dahan na, na natin itong uh, lecture na to para mas madali na maintindihan yung process. Kasi maraming batang nahihirapan kapag masyadong mahaba yung process na meron tayo. So, uh, slowly but surely tayo. Your B is equal to 40, so you can directly substitute 40 here. So it will become 40 squared. Okay, 40 squared is equal to your A, which is 30. This will become 30 squared plus, and ang mabuti ha, your C, which is 20 squared. So medyo mababa natin ang konti para magkasya. Okay, this is 40 squared is equal to 30 squared plus your C, 20 squared minus 2 times yung A mo, which is 30, 2 times 30, times your C, which is 20, and then yung cosine B. Wala tayong papalit kay cosine B kasi, um, siya yung nawawala. So, for 40 squared, that is 1,600, tama? And then for 30 squared, that will give you 900. For 20 squared, that is 400. And when you multiply this, um, 30 times 60, that is 600, times negative 2, so minus 1,200 cosine B. Okay? So dito, hindi nyo pwedeng isama yung 1,200 sa pag-subtract dito. Ito muna unahin natin. We have uh, 900 plus 400, that, is, that will give you 1,600 is equal to 1,300 minus 1,200 cosine B. Okay? So, pwede natin transpose sa kabila si 1,000, uh, 1,300. It will become 1,600 minus, tandaan na transpose natin si positive, magiging negative. So, minus 1,300 is equal to negative 1,200 cosine B. Okay? Subtract natin to. 1,600 minus 1,300. This will give you 300 is equal to negative 1,200 cosine B. And now, para masolve natin yung cosine B, we need to divide the whole equation by negative 1,200. Okay, we can cancel out this one, and this will give you cosine B. Ito naman, if you can use your calculator, ako nagamit ako ng calculator ko. So, I'll be dividing this one. 300 divided by negative 1,200. And that will give you negative 0.25. So, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi kailangan natin halapin yung, ano, yung mismong um, value ng B. Pero ito ah. Meron lang agad kayo makukuha ang idea dito when it comes to law of cosines. If the value of your of this is negative, again, if this is negative, i-expect nyo agad that the angle is an obtuse angle. Again, let me clarify this one. Prediction agad to. If this is negative, kapag napansin nyo negative to, automatically, uh, you will assume that, or it's ano, that's a fact, na yung angle na makukuha nyo is an obtuse angle. So try natin. Para makuha natin yung value ni B, kailangan mo syempre i-press yung, ano, yung calculator mo. I-press mo ay shift, 
shift cosine again press mo shift cosine para maging cosine raised to negative 1 siya and then input mo si negative 0 0.25 okay so then press equal so we have here an angle of this one 104.4775 nako saan pag sinyo di ba may decimal siya so this is 104 degrees pero since na ground off tayo we will change this equal sign into this symbol we're in basa natin dito your angle B is approximately 104 degrees. At wapansin nyo, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, since this one is negative, you can get, or you will get an angle of, an obtuse angle. So, that is the first example na meron tayo, wherein, you na encounter yung problem is under the first condition given the three sides, S, S, S. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you the second condition wherein, given the two sides, and then include the angle, which is under SAS. Now, let us solve another example, wherein we'll be using the law of cosine. In triangle ABC, the measurement of angle C is 40 degrees. So, this is your angle C, 40 degrees. A is equal to 12. Your side is 12. If this is your angle A, ito yung location ngayon ng iyong side A, which is 12. And for... B, which is 20, ito siya. Ang pinapanap sa atin ngayon dito, find side C. Ito yung pinapanap sa atin. What is the measurement or length of this side? So, sir, ang tanong dito, sir, anong formula po ang gagamitin natin to solve this kind of problem? Since involved si angle C at nawawala si side C, we will be using C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared. Yan yung pattern natin ha. Minus 2 and then ab cosine c. Angle c. So, substituting the formula or the value of in this formula, your c is missing. You have c squared is equal to your a which is 12. So, 12 squared plus your b which is 20 squared minus 2 times 12 times 20 tapos yung cosine natin angle C which is 40 degrees so we simplify this one we have here C squared is equal to this is 144 yung 20 naman natin 20 squared is 400 ito naman pag multiply natin to this is negative so we have 2 times 12 this will give you 24 times 20, that is 480. And as for the cosine 40, you can use your calculator again. Again, you can use your calculator. I-press nyo lang dyan, ay cosine 40. Ako include ko lahat ng value ng cosine 40. Yeah. Yung iba kasi, they are, ano, are rounding it off. Ako include ko lahat. So, negative 480 times 0 0.7666. 0, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 1, 2. Again, ang kailangan nyo memorize dito ay yung way kung paano siya solve Hindi naman yung mismong ano yung sagot dito. Kasi iba-iba yung may encounter yung problem. So simplifying this one, this is called, uh, C squared is equal to uh, 544, tama? 544 minus, eto, Ilagay siguro natin ito dito. Yung, or, gusto na, kung gusto nyo, isolve na natin lahat to, or input na natin lahat sa ating calculator. Okay? So, input na natin lahat. 144, kung naka-centric calculator kayo ha, plus 400, and then minus 480 times itong value na ating cosine 40. Pero yung iba kasi na automatic na cosine 40 na yun. Ako, pinakita ko lang sa inyo ito. So, 0 0.7666-0444-4312. Again, clarify ko lang ha. Yung iba dito, ito yung dinidiretso nila sa kanilang scientific calculator. Ako ito. Papakita ko sa inyo ito. So, we have here 176 something. 
So one hundred seventy-six point zero two nine eight six six seven three zero two four. Ito ay, ito yung manual na ginagawa ko Pero kayo, kaya nyo siyang i-diretso gamit ang scientific calculator At kunin natin square root both sides Okay So square root natin, tukun natin square root niya Okay Ang square root nito ay 13 C is equal to 13 something So 13 something siya. So, gabi natin dito. Lagi natin dito. Approximately 13 units. Yan yung square root ng ating uh, 176 point something. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung process natin on how to use the law of cosines. Kung paano siya, uh, kung paano ma-memorize yung formula natin. Kung paano ginagamit ang law of cosines. Remember, uh, if given yung tatlong sides, SSSS. At kung given naman yung dalawang side at include the angle, which is SAS. So, kung meron kang tanong or um, requested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below para mabasa ko ito at malaman ko kung ano yung dapat kong gawin para matulungan ko kayo. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!